Doing password recovery on a Cisco router happens all the time. Why? Because Cisco routers are awesome, and they run for years and years without a hiccup, but during those years and years, spreadsheets are lost, passwords are forgotten, staff is changed, and we get to a point where we have to do a configuration and nobody knows what the password is. So, first thing to do to do password recovery is configure an outage window because you have to reboot the router. Second, go to where the router is. You're going to plug in with a console cable. They look something like this. You're going to plug this end to the Cisco router into the console port, this end into your laptop. Now, hopefully your laptop has one of these serial ports. <laughs> Actually, hopefully it doesn't because you have a really old laptop if it does. So, you might need to get a USB to serial converter. Essentially, it just looks like a USB port but has this on the end and you plug the serial port in there. Third, you want to download a terminal program. Uh, the one I'm going to use here is uh, TerraTerm, but I'm dyslexia, so uh, uh, so I only I write term first. But you can also download one like Putty, or even you can use the archaic HyperTerm. I don't know if HyperTerm can send a break character, but it comes with old school Windows, so feel free to use uh, HyperTerm to do this. Plug into the console port, turn the router off and back on. Now, I've got a Cisco 2600 series router here, so I just turned it on. What you want to do is hit the brake symbol. You can do it anytime, you know, from now until the, the, the iOS has completely loaded. iOS is the software of the device. Uh, in the Terra term, I need to go to the control and hit send brake. Now, what it's going to do is drop out to Raman. Raman is not very friendly. Think of it as like the lost land of commands. But it does support the question mark. So I can type in the question mark. The key that I'm looking for is this command called confreg. I type in confreg and hit the enter key and it comes up and says, hey, here's your basic settings, essentially the boot settings of the switch. The one that we're after is this. This configuration register does a lot of stuff. One of the things is tells the router where to get its configuration from. By this third digit, being set to zero, it says, oh yeah, look for your configuration in this area of memory called NVRAM. That's non-volatile RAM. And we're going to say, actually, uh, I want to change that. I want to get in there and say, no, I don't want to be in diagnostic. No, 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 yes. You see this ignore system config in info. So it actually has a quick setting that we can go in there and say, you know what, I totally want to ignore my startup config. Now there's another way of doing this. I'll show you in just a second. You see what it did is change this configuration register from 0x2102 to 0x2102. That 4 says ignore your startup configuration completely. I'm going to hit no, I don't want to change my configuration. Then all I need to do is reset the device. Now, before I do that, you can also type in, if you're in a rush, conf reg 0x2142, and it does the same thing. So if you know what you're after, you don't have to go through that little wizard. So I'm going to type in the reset command, which now reboots the router. I'm going to pause this, let the router boot, and show you what the results are. The router now boots up to a screen that looks like this. It thinks it has no configuration whatsoever, because it really doesn't. We told it to ignore the configuration by setting the configuration register to that. Now, our goal was not to blow away the router configuration. Our goal is just to get past the passwords. So here's what we do. We go into the router and get into privilege mode. Now, once I'm there, I'm past all the passwords, right? Privilege mode, mode means I have full access to this. Now I want to restore the old config. So I'm going to type in copy startup config to running config. That restores the old one with the passwords that I don't know, but that's okay, right? Because I'm already in privilege mode. I'm already past all the passwords. Now you can see it restores and it says, oh, this, pa this router's host name is now NAT. Now I can go in and do enable secret and change my password to whatever it is I want. You know, Cisco, an ultra secure password, and I'm good to go. Now, I need to save my configuration by the time it's said and done, but there is one thing that I want to make sure I don't forget to reset. I'm going to type in show version. At the very bottom of this output, it will tell me what the current configuration register is set to. It's still set to 2142 instead of 2102. What does that mean? The next time I reboot this device, even if I save my configuration, it's going to ignore the startup configuration again and boot as if it had none. So I'm going to go into global config mode before I do anything else and type config register 0x2102. O2 to revert it back to the old one. Now you'll see that when I do the show version command, it's going to say it's still 2142, but the next reload will revert it to 2102. That's great. Now I can save my configuration. Password has changed. I am good to go. Oh, one more item of note before I let you go. When you do password recovery, it will reboot with all the interfaces 
off. So you want to go in after you do a password recovery situation and make sure you access each one of the interfaces and do a no shutdown. That's because we've wiped out the configuration which had uh, essentially all the no shutdown commands in there and that is one of the ones that is not restored when it comes back up. So power on your interfaces, save your config one more time. Now you're really good to go. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.